All right, let's talk real quick about grip strength. Yeah! I'm not gonna really talk about the actual grip on the pistol, but how strong do you need to be? Well, can you ever be too strong for anything? The answer, in my opinion, is no. I'm not talking about freakish bodybuilders, which I'm not trying to assault anybody, but some of you look like freaks. I'm talking about how strong do you need to be to maintain a dominant grip on the gun where it's not gonna get stripped from you, where you can easily control and work with the recoil of the gun, be it a little gun or a very easy to control all steel frame like my Beretta from Langdon Tactical Technologies. Here's the thing I want you to think about. If you ask 20 instructors, you will get 20 different specific responses. There are some key things that thankfully the Ipsic shooters of old have brought to light. Things that now we take for granted as factual information. This thumbs forward grip with that rolled forward lock, things uh, like this, we take for granted as always being known. They weren't. Guys like DR Middlebrooks, for example, pioneered some of this stuff. But think about this. If I tell you hold it really hard, really hard to you might be completely different than to me. Conversely, if I say, there's guys that say, hold it like a good man's handshake. All of this is completely contextual on your personal grip strength, hand size, gun size, the friction coefficient of your skin, meaning if you've got really dry skin, really sweaty skin, uh, really callous skin, it's going to grab onto the gun different. And then, what is the texture of your gun? Is it a delicious boresight solutions grip job or something like these uh, uh, grip panels from Langdon? That depends. Keep in mind that you and yours, your digits, are not going to be like everybody else's. So here's the other thing. A really defined grip, a really good shooter, if they're showing you their grip, they might not be squeezing that hard. Why? Well, hard to them is different. They have cultivated a grip that locks onto that gun. And you might be saying, no, Mick, I'm a grandmaster or master level shooter and I'm not locked onto the gun. Wrong. You are. Well, wait a second, you don't get to tell me what I'm doing. What I'm saying is, to you, you might not be locked onto that gun. It's because you have conditioned your hands, your joints, your sinew to do it in a relaxed manner. It's kind of like a marathon runner. For them to go jog the two mile run that I do, they could tie their shoes and burn the same amount of calories, right? They are conditioned to that activity. So. When you are working in dry fire, uh, in live fire, make sure that you've got a strong, consistent grip. But then, how do you develop the muscles to do that? Well, a couple things, guys. Of course, gripping the pistol, you're developing uh, uh, musculature and developing uh, uh, the synapses that keep this grip as such. But we set those guys down. You have to lift things. You have to physically grip and lift things. Uh, the, about the most basic thing that you can do is take an old old bath towel and you can do this with a lot of things throw it over a bar i've showed you guys some of this stuff before why a bath towel well now you're really forced to grip and if you can't do pull-ups with this if you're unable to grip that and do pull-ups just hang just hang on that towel grab it and just try to pick your feet up off the ground and hang if you can't do that grab onto a bar you can omit the thumbs and just hook with your fingers, move over here so you guys can see, and just hang if that's all you can do. Of course you can do pull-ups and other body weight exercises, but this is the tie that binds. It's your grip. How about a really basic deadlift? So a lightly loaded bar here, a couple big wheels and a 45 pound bar, a basic, basic deadlift, right? Does the amount of weight matter? Of course it does, but what's the connection point? It's still your mitts. So start out with light weight, especially if you don't know proper form for deadlifts, but work through them. But this is the part I want you to see. It's the connection. You could do shoulder shrugs, right? At the end of the day, it's still your fingers connecting the weight to your body. As long as I got this, I'm gonna wrap a few out. Feels great. Mm -hmm. Another favorite of mine is a simple farmer carry. So if you, I've got a, a series of dumbbells that I use, but if you don't have dumbbells, 
grab a couple points. These happen to be 35s. And you're going to pinch them. See that? I'm pinching them. Don't drop them on your feet because it'll hurt. And just go for a walk. Like this. <laughs> go for a walk. And in doing so, again, you've got these locked in. You want to walk in a slack line? You could do that too. But all the while, I'm yelling at you because I'm not mic'd up. We're still connected, right? We're forcing our grip to improve, to get stronger. This isn't hard, but I get tons of questions on how can I control the gun like you? Well, for one, don't strive to do it like me. Do whatever you're doing as best as you're able to. But you got to get stronger. Here's another good one. Now, length of chain. This might seem goofy. And one of the things to think about, my dad used to do this. Any chance that there was a, a time that you could turn screws with a screwdriver, he would opt to do that. Talking about household chores, not construction work. He'd opt to use a screwdriver over a, a screw gun because you're getting a chance to build the forearm strength, right? Yeah. Grab a chunk of chain. This is all we're doing. I'm grabbing. I've got my elbows kind of tucked into my body because I don't want to be too far out smoking my shoulders because then they're going to get wore out before my hands. Grab, 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 grab. And each time I grab, I'm going to pause for a second before I take the weight off to the next hand. Rotate, grab, grab. You can have some fun with it. But what I'm doing is I'm having to support 20-ish pounds with my grip. You could have fun with it. Omit an index finger and a thumb. Omit an index finger and I cheated and grab with my thumb. I'm trying to push it into my palm and not hook with my thumb. You see what I'm saying here? It's very easy to get stronger if you apply effort to where you're weak. It's very easy to grow and develop if you identify where it is you want to develop and then put effort into it. So, key takeaways. You're not going to get a stronger grip if you're not working on getting a stronger grip. You're not going to develop a finely tuned grip on the pistol, meaning your master grip, if every time you are dry firing, actioning the gun in live firing, you are not cognizant of it, right? Be it a little gun or a beautiful full-size gun. What you put in is what you will get out, I guarantee it. Another thing to think about, men and women, you're not getting any younger. Develop as much of a grip now so that as you age, you still can dominate that pistol into your later years. You can still get a dominating master grip that will help you prevail in violence if need be, help you prevail in life because you still can carry your groceries, crack a pickle jar open if you need to, right? Still prevail into those older years that you'll have because you put in some effort. This is not hard stuff. If you're going to get stronger, you've got to use the fingers. Another one of my favorites, farmer carries with the long bar. This is not very much weight, uh, 65, 75 pounds. But again, I'm using the fingers. The thumb can be omitted and you just keep pushing. This is Mickey with CarryTrainer.com. I thought I'd throw this out there because I get this question often. Don't make it hard. Use your fingers. Don't miss an opportunity to stretch them, grow them, work them. And don't forget that if you're doing all this gripping, Make sure that you do stretching exercises to work those muscles, tendons, and sinew the opposite direction. We've got a great video on our YouTube channel, Yoga for Shooters, where we go through some of this. Ah, that dish rack feels great. Mm, I'm just going to finish it right now. Be well, you guys. It's Halloween here, and I'm looking outside at a complete blizzard. Kick some ass today. Hmm? Yeah. Good, move. Your buddy looks like he's hurt. Your buddy looks like he's hurt.